Hi guys, so I just made this Chinese sea bass soup topped with spring onion, cured ham and ginger and it was so delicious and really healthy too. It did have a lot of steps and preparation but that can all be done ahead of time so this would be a perfect starter for a dinner party. Just do all the prep in advance and then just chuck everything in the pot when people arrive. Start with some dried shiitake mushrooms. The recipe I'm following says to steep three in boiling water so they soften, but because the recipe requires chicken stock, I'm going to steep them in that instead. So I'll infuse the stock with their shiitake flavor and not lose it to the water. But if you want, you can just use water instead. Just let them steep for 30 minutes. In the meantime, take a small heat-proof bowl or plate and lay two fresh sea bass fillets on top, skin side down and make sure you remove any of their tiny little bones. These are then going to be steamed, which will really lock in all their flavor without using any fat or oil or anything. But just to enhance the flavor, take around 15 grams of fresh ginger, you don't need to peel it, and one sprig onion, just the white part, and bash them both with the side of your knife. Bash the knife with the heel of your palm and make sure you use a thick knife or a Chinese cleaver so you don't bash the sharp edge. Now tuck the ginger and onion in amongst the sea bass fillets and pour over about a tablespoon of Chinese Shaoxing wine. If you don't have this, you could use dry sherry instead. Now place the plate inside a steamer. If you have a Chinese bamboo steamer, great, but if not, one of these stainless steel ones is perfect. Just make sure that the plate fits inside your steamer. Then place it over a pot of boiling water, clamp the lid on and let it steam for five minutes. Five minutes later, take off the lid to make sure the fish is cooked and then remove it. Next, you're going to want to drain all those cooking juices from the plate into a bowl. You can now discard that ginger and spring onion. Now transfer the cooked fish onto a chopping board where you can remove the skin carefully and discard it. Now flake the fish by shredding it up with two forks. Then add the flaked fish into the reserved steaming juices, along with one and a half tablespoons of light soy sauce and a half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce. Then set aside until later. Now you need 10 grams of lean cured ham, either Chinese or Spanish, so I'm using the serrano ham, and chop it up finely into fine shreds. Then set it aside until later as well. Next, take two more spring onions and cut off just the white parts and bash them with the side of your knife like before. Set them aside as well. Now take another 15 grams of fresh ginger and peel it and chop it into really, really fine matchsticks. Set them aside on your plate as well. And by now, it should be time to take out your shiitake mushrooms. Slice them into really thin strips too and add them to the plate. Now take about 50 grams of bamboo shoots. I'm using tinned, but if you're using fresh, you will need to blanch them first and cut them into thin strips as well. And set them aside on your plate. Now take one green part of a spring onion from earlier and cut that as well into really fine strips. And set aside two. Next, you'll need to separate four eggs. You only need the yolks, but freeze the whites for meringues or healthy egg white omelets later. Then mix them up with a fork and set them aside. Now for the last bit of prep, take a cup with six tablespoons of cold water, that's 90 milliliters, and add two and a half tablespoons of flour. Potato flour is best, but I'm using plain white flour. Then mix it up with a fork until it's all nice and smooth and lump free. Now all the prep is done, you can set everything aside for up to a few hours, do a bit of a clean up if you're having guests over and just chill until they arrive. Maybe pour yourself a glass of wine as well. Once it's time to start cooking, add about a tablespoon of neutral cooking oil to a casserole or a large wok over a high heat. Once it's hot, add the bashed spring onion whites and stir fry for a few minutes until they just start to take on a golden color and are smelling really, really good. Then add a liter of good chicken stock. This is what the shiitakes were steeping in earlier and let that come to the boil. Once it's boiling, fish out the bashed spring onion whites with a slotted spoon and just discard them. Now add the sliced shiitakes and the sliced bamboo shoots from earlier. Bring it back up to the boil and give it a stir before you add your steamed fish and soy sauces. Mix it up again and add a good pinch of sea salt flakes. 
give the water and flour mixture another mix before you add it bit by bit to the soup as you stir it. Add it in three stages and keep stirring it until it takes on a creamy consistency. Now, in the same way, add the beaten yolks as you stir. This will make the yolks form thin ribbons in the soup. Finally, stir in one tablespoon of chinkyang vinegar or Chinese black rice vinegar. Cook for just another minute before you serve up. This soup is so low fat and so low calorie that you can definitely afford a good few ladles. Then just top with the garnishes, the spring onion slivers, the cured ham and the ginger. Add a little pinch of preferably white pepper to each bowl, though black pepper will be fine too. And add salt to taste, then just dig in and enjoy. Thanks many for watching guys, I hope you liked this recipe. If you did, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. In the description you'll find all the links to my social media accounts if you want to check me out over on there. And you'll also find the link to my blog where you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org